on Funniest Pets and People. Meet a dog who shreds something other than the newspaper. And a sneak attack cat. A guy who's a head case. And a bird who's a head banger. So stay in your seat. It's all coming to you special delivery. It's the show that will have you sit, stay, laugh, and beg for more. Welcome to Funniest Pets and People. Everyone in the pool, it's time to get wet and wild. Okay, now this ferret is toilet trained. Ah, uh, yeah, he's trained to dive into the toilet. And after an accident like that, just exactly how do you clean your ferret? That's Mr. D getting the bath. Easy. Dirt away turns your ferret from this to this. Dirt away will have you saying, He's my long skinny wiener boy. Does not work on leopards, Dalmatians, or spotted owls. Some assembly required. So how do I play this game, Mommy? All right, Keith, run through them puddles, buddy. Oh, wait, there's a puddle. I think I see one. Yay! <laughs> I win! <laughs> Buenos dias, senores y señoritas. It is me, Tito the Talking Football. Today's match is Tito the Talking Football versus the Loco Labrador. Hola, senor doggy. No, 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 senor. You are trying to bite Tito south of the border. <laughs> no, no, I caramba. You will never possess Tito. Your hopes are sinking. Ah, but Tito still floats. <laughs> ah! oh, oh, you have defeated Tito. You are a worthy opponent. You may have won this round, Senor Labrador, but Tito will get the best of you next time, huh? Trick or treat. Is that you, Timmy? What are you supposed to be? A koi? Oh, that's great. Here's some candy. And Susan, what are you supposed to be? A koi! Oh, that's great. Here's some candy. And what are you supposed to be? Dracula. Really? Well, here's some candy. No, really, take it. <laughs> This guy just caught a prize-winning fish. This is going to be the winner! <laughs> or not. Okay now, viewer sit, viewer stay, viewer laugh. Good viewer! Here's some more tricks. Now after last call at O'Brien's pub, Scraps walks straighter than any of the regulars. No, 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 don't worry, folks. He's three. Uh, that's 21 in dog years. So, you think you can dance, huh? Well, let's get a piece of liver and find out. Okay, let's see some uh, pop and lock. Yeah. All right, you know, she's a regular Twyla Bark. It's basketball tryout day, and this kitty has hoop dreams. And he's got the footwork to back it up, too. You know, doing a handstand is impressive, but it's even more impressive when you don't have hands. Yeah, some dogs can walk on their hind legs, but this little guy believes in putting his best paw forward. This is Bob. He'd like to show you what he can do with his plunger. Hi, my name is Bob, and I'd like to show you what I can do with my plunger. Wow, you know, this trick would have been a lot easier with a bigger plunger. Take 35. Hi, my name is yes, Bob. Yes, Bob, plunger. We, we get it, we get it. Oh, apparently Bob doesn't have a lawn to mow. Hi. My name is Bob and I'd like... Well, if practice makes perfect, then Bob is perfection.
You know, a great performer leaves his audience wanting more. And now the dismount. Turn it off. And for our final trick, you've heard of Disco Duck. We'll make way for Pop and Lock Pig. This little piggy can do all the hot moves. The hollow back. The worm. The air flare. The insane corkscrew. The windmill, the robot, and the mambo. Yes, Pop and Lock Pig is one dancer who rightly deserves to hog the spotlight. And now it's time for America's favorite game show, How Many Times Will the Cow Lick the Fence? If you said 55 times, you've won an all-expense trip to Spitzburg. <laughs> now, I don't know if this kitty knows when to fold him, but he sure knows when to hold him. Okay, hit me. Hit me again. Now hit me. Hit me again. Hit me. His inspiration? When he saw that picture of the dogs playing poker. Hit me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and pets of all kind, it's time for Funniest Pets and People Unleashed. Is there anybody who doesn't think these three women are absolutely the most adorable thing you've ever... Well, besides the cat. Now, now let's see that again in slow motion. <laughs> Me ouch! Okay, I bet you think this city slicker is gonna get tossed off this bucking bronco in 10 seconds flat. Well, you'd be very, very, very wrong. Uh, make that three seconds. You know what would go great with this meal? A milkshake. And I want a milkshake. I said I want a milkshake. Hey, hey, listen to me. I really, really, really want a milkshake. Got sponge. Oh boy, I'm gonna miss my show. I'm gonna miss my favorite show. Let me get that thing. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, I got it, Kevin. I got it. I got the thing I want to go. Mm -hmm. All right, you can try. Let me go here. You need to read more. Go, go, you just do it. I can tell for you that dirty stuff. Go, go, go. Yeah, I told you I can buy a remote. I want to. I want to use. Welcome to anger management class. Today we're taking out our aggression on the therapy skeleton. Very good. Now, who are you angry at? Your third grade teacher. Maybe your mother-in-law. Oh, you better hope I don't bleed out of this cow suit. Hello and welcome to Extreme Backyard Makeover. Okay, first we get rid of this hideous weed here. and That'll really open up the area for a trellis. Mother of dog, we're talking a big weed here. There you go. <laughs> Whew, okay, I see begonias and an herb garden. Uh, needs color and a fruit tree. Uh, lemons, pears, kumquats, peaches. Well, then we won't have room for the gazebo. Uh, always with the gazebo. Who wants a gazebo? I want a gazebo. Join us next week for another edition of Extreme Backyard Makeover. Oh, yeah. Time to get your dance on. Okay, everybody, now just the birds. Throw your beak in the air and wave it like you just don't care. <laughs> Okay, now just the ladies. Very nice, excellent. How about we give a special shout out to the lady and the bird in the middle of the dance floor? <laughs> and one, and two, and three, and four, and everybody, let's dance on the floor. In the Triassic period, this lizard would be using his tail to fend off an attack from a ferocious velociraptor. But these days, he's using it to swat a red balloon for food pellets. <laughs> what a difference 200 million years makes, huh? Oh, the 
poor little hamster. <laughs> he thought he was getting nowhere on that wheel. This is the hamster equivalent of driving on the Hollywood freeway. Coming up, could this be a case of Koi meets girl? And the newest innovation in home appliances, <laughs> his name is Rex. When we return to Funniest Pets and People. Welcome back to Funniest Pets and People. Some things make you go, ah. Some things make you go, oh. But these things will make you go, ugh. Now, Janice likes her sushi fresh. Really fresh. And luckily, sushi likes their Janice fresh. Hey, does anybody eat tongue? You know, one of the joys of fatherhood is creating that special bond through activities like singing them a lullaby or reading to them before bed, taking them to the park. These special bonds allow you to get close to your child. Well, maybe not that close. Now remember, dads, always have a burp cloth close at hand. This is how dog owner Dave takes a bath. Believe me, you do not want to see how he brushes his teeth. All right, Dan, drool school is now in session. And here's your instructor, Professor Fred Flynn. First, always warm up your drool tube. And now, lesson number 3-7-665, paper retrieval. Now, let's see that again in slow motion. Tomorrow's lesson, dial in the phone. Class dismissed. Introducing the newest innovation in home appliances, his name is Rex. Rex removes that baked-on, caked-on grease other dishwashers leave behind. And he'll do it lickety-split. He's energy efficient, clean running, and is oh so quiet. Rex requires minimum cleanup. Rex even gets those stubborn, hard-to-reach places. Your dishes will be so clean, you can see your snout. Yes, it's Rex, the latest high-tech dishwasher from Whirlpoodle. <laughs> These next clips are a bit jumpy. I am Benito the Talking Balloon. Buenos dias, Senor Matt. Fear me, ground anchor mongrel. My brother Tito, the talking football, has told me your tale of pathetic attempts at capture. You are determined to catch Benito. But you will not possess Benito's mylar underbelly, for Benito has the power of flight. You see the sign upon my chest? It says, it's a boy that is for you, for you are not a man. Haha, <laughs> snap again, and I will release my wind on you, you mud-bound mongrel. Adios, Senor Matt. We shall meet again, perhaps! Bill. 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 You may already be a winner. Bill. Lingerie catalog? Whoa, gimme! Come on, come on, gimme, gimme, gimme! You ever asked yourself, I wonder if I could kick myself in the head? If you've thought that, you probably already have.
Okay, remember folks, if you kick yourself in the head, always remove your glasses. Safety first. Bandit loves bubbles. Just how much does Bandit love bubbles? Coming up next, a dog who loves extreme sports. And a truly odd couple. Uh, sweet kitty, we were destined to be together, huh? Just give me one kiss. I love you. It's all up next on Funniest Cats and People. Welcome back to Funniest Pets and People. Hey, guys and gals of a lion, I'm dying. We're spinning the stacks of wax, so open your ears for some smooth sounds. Well, I'm going to play the fiddle with my feet behind my head while holding a bird in my mouth. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well, it, it, okay, it, it's good, really, but we already have someone who plays a fiddle with their legs behind their head, but, hey, can you play the clarinet on a pogo stick with a cat on your head? Uh, thank you. No, okay, thank you. That's fine. Th thank you. How about that? Uh, we'll call you. <laughs> and now, a Christmas carol. Abigail is nine months old. It's the season to be Third verse, same as the first. Bows with bows and holly. Tis the season to be jolly. And the Mutt Music Video of the Year goes to Rough Daddy. <laughs> Very nice. And as always, in these music videos, there's a chick in a bikini. <laughs> Good job. That was very pretty. Oh, you aren't done yet. These next clips will have you falling down laughing. Now, what should I wear? Hmm. Hello, shoes! I'm in heaven. I love these pumps. Oh, no, wait, I really need two more just like it. Hmm, this now makes my tail look ginormous. Oh, my God, 1992 called it wants these acid-washed jeans back. I've copped up fur balls that were more stylish. Check. Stripes, hmm. Stripes are very slimming, grays, blacks. Oh, so dingy. Finally, some color. Come to mama. Oh, this shirt is perfect. It really brings out the red in my eyes. Oh, oh, these socks are fabulous. Everyone knows the wedding tradition goes, whoever catches the bouquet will be the next to get married. And the next to end up in the emergency room. But hey, at least they put streamers and tin cans on the ambulance, right? <laughs> and speaking of falling, Remember that movie, Broke Back Mountain? Well, here's the sequel. Broke Back. There's a real raw hide. Ah, uh, sweet kitty. We were destined to be together, huh? Just give me one kiss. I love you. I'm falling for you. No, I'm, I'm really falling for, for you, kitty. I... I Son of a god! Ah, uh, sweet kitty. Ladies and gentlemen, I present Mr. and Mrs. Ted Wilkinson. Ted, you may now pick up the bride. You've heard of the Lords of Dogtown? Well, here's the dog of Lordtown. Okay, dudes. First, I do an alley oop 270 all right? 
Then I go into a front blunt, a fat flip drop, and finish it up with a fakie 50 kickflip out. Hey, Bettys, you digging my chill pretty shiny, huh? <laughs> I know it. Yo, that's cool. Okay, okay, okay. And finally, the McTwist Reaper. Nailed it! Whoa, I am so a legend. Do you know a funny pet or person? Are you a funny pet or person? Well, tape your pet or yourself doing something funny and send it to Funniest Pets and People, P.O. Box 7898, Burbank, California, 91505-9998. Make sure no animals or people are harmed in the making of your video, and please include your phone number. Now, if we use your funniest moment on the air, you'll get $100 and a Funniest Pets and People t-shirt. Don't go away, because coming up is a lesson in the funky ostrich. Next, on Funniest Pets and People. Welcome back to Funniest Pets and People. Before we go, it's time to get in shape. It's the exercise sensation that's sweeping the nation. Get ready to ostrich size. One, two, three, four. Work that waddle, ladies. Come on, girls. Pull your head out of the ground and shake your tail feathers. And work it, work it, work it. Remember, no crane, no gain. Everybody now. And that's how you ostrich size. See you next time on Funniest Pets and People.